So this reviews of the new Burley Bark Ranger XL. Um, got this because the original one we got was too small. And as you can see, our dog is just way too big to fit in the standard size because he reaches up to the height, uh, the maximum height inside it when he sits inside here. So I assembled it already. Comes together pretty simple. The handle comes up separately. The wheels come off. That's what these buttons right here are used for. You basically just push it in, it releases, you can take the entire wheel off. You have a arm. This third arm right here can go on either side that's used for towing it. Um, and in order to raise it to go to bicycle or walking, you just lift the piece back and spin it. So basically you just pull it back and you turn it into the other position and now you can use it as a stroller or dog carriage, dog crate, whatever you want to call it. Comes with a flag. It's all pre-assembled. The only thing you have to do is put the arm in. Now one note, when I went to put mine together, these arms right here weren't lined up. I had to loosen the uh, Allen bolts on the bottom and actually adjust the bracket on one side. Once I adjusted this bracket, I could then get this arm to slide in here. Otherwise, this was slightly crooked, so you may have to loosen one of the two bolts to align these in. Um, be careful because it's aluminum. If you over tighten it, you will just strip it out, by the way. Also, there's a brake. The brake is right here, so when you are in just this mode, you can bring it forward. Keeps it from rolling, so that way you can put the dog in and not have to worry about holding on to it. Um, as you can see, it's got the zippers. Zipper goes bi-directional, so you can open from the bottom and the top, or the top and the bottom, whichever way you want to go. So that's the flap, fold it all the way down. Um, it's very roomy inside. It collapses, extremely simple. There's a clip right here on the top part. You lift this piece up, there's a button on the back side. And once that's up, then the piece, this piece folds inside, that piece will fold back. And then there's the back side of the arm, it all collapses into itself. Uh, I'm not gonna do it right now because I only have one hand available. And then you have some straps up here for webbing, whatever you want to do. When you go to roll this back, that's what this will lock into. Here. So you can see that's what these pieces, the little clips, will clip onto these little holders right here. And that way you can roll it up and back. Getting your dog in. You want to go from the back. And lift it up. And this piece undoes again. And then there's more clips right here, so you can roll this up if you want. And you can clip it off also. A lot of variations. All right, come. Come. Yeah, I know you're getting the deer flies. Inside. Inside. Go on. Inside. Come. Yep, inside. Nope. <laughs> He's only did this once. Come here. Inside. Good boy. Come here. All the way here. Good boy. Come here. Come. Good boy. As you can see, he fits in there. He's kind of a goof, kind of a goofball. But he fits in there even, and he's sitting. And he's 34 inches to the top, so that's what the height of these bars are. So he can sit in there, he can lay in there. Um, more than enough space, and you got room inside there for other little accommodations for them if you need things. Um, has the little two reflectors on the bottom. I actually have a light that pulses and flashes that I put right up on the side up here so that way I don't have to worry about it. Um, you can put a small bed in there. I got a small bed that we're going to put inside there for him to make it a little bit softer, more comfortable. Um, but we will work on the riding part coming up. And it's just uh, extremely well built. Oh, here. You want to see how well it moves? Show you. That out. Now it's like a baby stroller. Super simple. Pushes with no effort. I hooked it up to the bike already. Um, once I got the trailer piece on my bike, moved very simple, very free. You wanna come out? Come. Good boy. There's a good boy. So anyway, I'll show you what the lo attachment looks like on the bike. I'm gonna put it on pause and we'll check that out. Okay, so I can't see my screen very well because it's super bright out, but anyway, 
this is the piece that goes through. It fits on very simple. All I had to do was slide off my keyway shaft right here. I have an e-bike, by the way. Um, and I put this to alignment. I put this piece roughly in the same alignment. It does articulate a little bit, not a lot, because it's rubber. And when this is up, it locks it, so you can't put this pin in while you're just trailering, if you notice. So the pin will not go all the way through. So it only goes when you have it in bicycle mode right here. Um, it attaches simply, and really, you don't even notice it. It barely pulls just without power. Even with the e-bike turned off, it has like almost no weight behind it. Super, super light. And I put him in, I rode it without any power assistance also with the system turned off, extremely light. Now we got this in lieu of not only so he can just be in the cart the whole time, but if you notice, there's a back piece right here. Let me grab the other piece out of the garage. Okay, right, so this, uh, what is it called? Walkie Dog Plus. This has springs inside of it. So there's, depending on the size of your dog, has multiple springs inside. And what happens is the springs will allow the dog to walk with you and it slowly pulls side to side. So it gives some. So this just comes off with a quick lock. So we can lock this up here. Kind of hard to do with one hand. There we go. So once that's on, I put a harness on him. He's able to walk with us, so he's not riding the whole time. And then after a little while, once he gets tired, the plan is in, we put him inside so he can keep going with us. So he's gonna get exercise. And I put this just so it reaches the back part so it doesn't hit the back part of my leg. Because if I bring it straight out, it kind of bumps in my, my shin a little bit. Because originally I had it higher, but we put a shock system in on the seat to make it a little bit smoother. And you can't clamp this to the shock like the guy did when he put it back together because then the shock won't work. So anyway, it's mounted right to the frame. And I got it back just a little bit. And this will give him just enough room to clear so that way he's able to walk back behind us. So let me attach it to the bike and then you can see how everything looks. All right, so this is kind of the end result. He's a little stressed right now just because it's, we haven't did this in a long time and the trailer behind him. So, But he connects up. He doesn't hit the back. He stays out a little bit off to the side. Granted, you're taking more space than a standard bicycle rider, so you got to make sure you have enough room on the trailer, on the trail that you're going to be on. Otherwise, you may whack into somebody or, you know, just pull over to the side while they're passing by. But it's just enough to give him exercise and put him back, then give him some more exercise and put him back, so that way he's not all just, you know, non-moving. We don't want that. That's the whole point, is he can go with us. And then when we go inside somewhere, he could sit inside there, or we could push his baby stroller in a busy area, and we don't have to worry about leaving him somewhere. So anyway, that's how I have this whole thing set up, and hopefully going to try it out tomorrow, weather cooperating, and get him out for a good little ride on a, we got like a 20 mile trail that we're going to take him on and uh, kind of go from there. And that's what you got to watch out for if he decides to sit down. But otherwise, I will put some new stuff up once I get uh, him on it. Thanks for watching.